Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do something today in this video that I haven't done all year. And this video's purpose, more than anything, after yesterday's crazy amount of announcements, I mean really, it is not clickbait, it is not dramatization to think that yesterday could be the biggest news day in MCOC history, and you might say that the biggest news day before this was when six stars were announced. But it wasn't just that seven stars were announced, it was Ascension, which to me still sounds like a cult, and it was, uh, of course, Relics. And out of all the three, I'm really excited about Ascension because biasly, I feel like I already have the tools to, to do what uh, it requires to improve my champions without spending money. Seven stars, I feel like are going to be like six stars where most of them are trash champions that I'd rather use my five stars then. So I don't really, you know, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to make a difference to me if you want to rank up your seven star OG Captain America. And on top of that, the rank up materials are going to be so out of control for seven stars. I, I'm sure when you rank up seven stars, because we can't even rank up a six star to rank five yet, right? I'm sure it's going to be very similar to these materials because that's how rank two materials were for six stars. And so for a long time, it was much better to rank up two five stars to 565 than it was to rank one six star to rank two. That's how it's going to be for seven stars. It's just the economy of the game. So all that is overblown. But Relics is, it feels like a different game to me. And I, I mean, I don't know about you, but when I was doing Strikers in like side quest, like it felt almost like a gimmick to me where it reminded me of Marvel vs. Capcom, which is pretty cool. But I actually have my timing and rhythm thrown off by bringing them in and tapping that specific button. So I just, a lot of times, didn't even use it. I just preferred to go through my regular rotations with the champions that I always use. So the fact that uh, you can bring a Relic in for like a Venom Striker sounds cool on paper, but I'm not going to miss it if I don't. Like, I'm not going to like lose sleep over it. So uh, with that being said, we'll see how this uh, video ages because you just never know. Uh, as far as ISO goes, I am going to always advise people to delete all the ISO of the class that you're not going to need, though we will have a select all button in the future next week, according to the patch notes. So I thought this video was gonna be taken up, shout out to my man Grass, who has made me a true believer in Jubilee. Uh, take up Jubilee as a six star. But my community, I voted between this and a five star champion that I have not ranked up. And would you believe that that five-star champion absolutely destroyed the poll. And this just goes to show how sometimes, even though if it's a five-star, the community still thinks it's a no-brainer. And that champion, y'all, all the way down here, is five-star Scorpion. They said, Prof, take him up. Do it. I don't care that he's a five-star. So I said, screw it. It's a level up event. Let's let's do for the first time all year. Let's take a a five star straight up to rank five. Why not? Get the old nostalgia train going. Uh, now he was, as you can see, at uh, rank two before this. So it's not like I'm taking him straight from rank one, but it's pretty close. And personally, y'all, I'm excited to do this. You might be wondering, Prof, what about Awakening Gems? What about Six Stones? I have them. I mean, I, I've been saving them for the oh-so-controversial event of hoarding that Kabam doesn't like us to do. By the way, uh, I also, at this point, need some Tier 4 Class Catalyst. So we're going to do two things now that I'm kind of excited about, believe it or not. Uh, we are going to first claim our Catalyst. It's important. We're going to pop... A few, we're going to test the old tier 4 class catalyst algorithm. Because as usual, I've been hoarding quite a few of these. And also using... Okay, first off, we're going to fast tap this and see if we get science. See if we can get 1 out of 6 for Scorpion. Come back green, come back green, stay! Yes! Okay, this is perfect. By the way, the algorithm always gives me science. This is the one time I asked for it and I got it. That's going to Scorpion in this video. Thank you, side quest. You just made this even more fun. All right, and then we're just looking for two out of 10 on these. Now I've got 237. I usually like to keep 200 in there. So there's one, and we're gonna open another 10, and there's four. Okay, you know what? That was good RNG all the way around. And we'll keep uh, 217 in there. Very nice. I'm so happy that Awakening Jim. Hey, 
That's that's fantastic. All right, back to the task at hand. And look, I know from everything you all have told me that Scorpion doesn't need to be awakened, but why not? You know, why not? All right, rank five on the way, right before a new arena day to make everything okay. Olay. All right. And I'm almost going to run out of ISO. Now, this doesn't surprise me because, of course, I have been ranking up a lot of science champions to especially six stars. So, champions maxed out. PI looks pretty bad, but we're going to use one of those fancy. I've got seven of them. Science Awakening Gems. And then... I'm going to use all the six stones I've got. And you all have told me, Prof, even though, of course, you want a six-star scorpion, not a five-star scorpion, he is so good that you're just going to love using him. And guess what? I believe you. So, all right, you know, it's not SIG 200, but SIG 52 ain't bad. 14,950 PI. And I still think if I was running Ascension, I'd have the summoner to, to ascend the champion past SIG 200, rank 5, 6 star. I'd have him max SIG every champion from 4, 5, and 6. And so I, I'm going to start putting my 6 stones into Scorpion, because why not? Cause, so I, when I get the 6 star, you know, I'll try to have him ascend. All right. Thank you for those of you that voted on the poll. I'm really excited to post this video. Remember, 5 stars still are amazing and so many 565 five stars of god tier and beyond god tier champions are way better and way have way more utility i'll take a five star uh, hercules over most six stars any day heck i'll take the scorpion over most six stars any day so the uh exaggeration of five stars and their demise is fake news and i have seen so many people explore 100 uh, percent 8.1 with five stars 100 percent explore act seven certainly act six with five stars uh, how about the abyss with five stars the gauntlet with five stars i could go on and on and if you want to rent a rank four six star just pop a greater champion boost and maybe a health and attack boost some rainbow boost which are basically nothing now in the game price wise into a 565 five star and you've got the health and attack that you'd have as a six star so uh, i would rather do that than spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on rank up materials so that's really the the life hack in the game when boosts became a thing especially the big boosts you might only rent it for an hour, but it's still an hour that you can have some fun for almost nothing, if not nothing, in terms of cost. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'm excited.